Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's good to visit with you again. I hope you're doing well, and um, so just uh, really glad uh, to be back with you after uh, taking some uh, vacation last week and getting a chance to relax with the Several of you have been asking about my sister and how she's doing. Uh, Teresa is doing very well in her recovery after surgery, uh, actually going through some therapy right now to build up her strength. Uh, she certainly appreciates all your concern and prayers, and they're helping her courageously face uh, all of her daily challenges. Certainly, she and I would ask for your continued prayers uh, for herself, her husband, Bill, and her entire medical team. I thank you uh, for your, your concern and, and for your prayers. This Sunday, we celebrate, as many United Methodist churches do, Laity Sunday. What is Laity Sunday? Laity Sunday celebrates the ministry of all Christians to love God and all people. On Laity Sunday, we lift up the varied ministries of the laity to follow Jesus Christ and to lead others to him. As we welcome and offer the good news of Jesus' love for all, we know that the most engaging opportunities to grow deep and wide in our faith comes from relations, relationships with those beyond the comfort and security of our church walls. The stories and situations of those struggling with fear, loss, trauma, and injustice, as well as freedom, joy, and delight, become altar calls for the wholeness and holiness work of justice, mercy, and reconciliation. This is the ministry of all the called, the laity. This is a relational discipleship and participation in the active work and mission of God. Therefore, we will go with hope through engagement as we each carry out uh, our own individual ministries uh, as God has gifted you. Laity literally means of the people, and in the church language, it differenti differentiates the ministry of the clergy or pastor from the members. It's my joy today to stop and to honor you and the ministry of the people. For my friends, the laity are the backbone of every congregation. And in the broader sense, the mission of every nonprofit, it happens because of what you do. Paul, in his letter to the Ephesians, said, The gifts he gave were that some would be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until all come into the unity of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to maturity, to the measure of the full stature of Christ. Note a few observations about the ministry of the laity. First, God gives gifts, talents, and passions to each person, each according to his will that, it, that we might serve the community. This isn't, a, isn't an exhaustive list, but a reminder that God needs a variety of gifts in order that we might well serve our congregation and community. Remember also, they are a gift from God, so that you might serve well. A gift from God. And God gives us these gifts, secondly, for the work of ministry. So they're not for our own edification, but for the building, they're, they're for building up others and caring and, and, and working with others. And you're all meant that we might be able to serve our community in a better way. It doesn't matter if you help maintain buildings and grounds, if you're called to a leadership position, maybe you're teaching a class or a Bible study, maybe you're in a serving ministry, maybe you're part of the worship team, maybe you're called to use a particular technical or professional skill, maybe you're working with children or youth, or a myriad of other ministries. But God gives us these gifts, and he calls us to use these gifts so that we can, in a variety of ministry settings, serve the needs of our community and each other. And then God gives us gifts for the work of the ministry for this really important thing, that we will build up the body of Christ. We are called to take our passion, our love of Christ, gifts, and talents 
to build up the body of Christ. We're called to literally invest these things in others. We're called to invest our time deploying our gifts that we might build up the body of Christ. Yes, some will serve, some will lead, some will care, some will teach, some will be administrators. And we're all working together for the purpose of building up the body, the body of Christ. So as we celebrate the many and varied ministries of the people this Laity Sunday, I challenge you to use your gifts in ministry to build up the body of Christ. And I wanna add my thanks for your dedication, investment of time and energy in ministry, and for the sacrifices you make to serve the church, each other, and our community. And I honor you today for being the heart and soul and hands and feet that make ministry happen. Your in ministry is impacting lives and making a difference. Thank you for all that you do in the name and love of Christ. My friends, well done. And please continue to press on in your ministry of the people. Amen. Just a couple announcements today. Um, for All Saints Sunday, uh, if you haven't already, please submit photos of loved ones who have passed away between October 2020 and September of this year. You can give them to Martiel Edwards or drop them at the church office or email them. And we'd ask for you to do that by October 24th. You can see the bulletin for more information. We certainly want to thank you for the way you and the community continues to support Wesley Preschool. And especially today, I lift up the Weiss for School program. Uh, because of your uh, participating in that program, Weiss donated uh, $400 to the preschool um, uh, this fall. And that program is once again uh, resuming. Uh, our school code is in the bulletin. You can call the church office. And if you register with your uh, Weiss card, um, every time you make a purchase, it will uh, bring a contribution to Wesley Preschool. And so we thank you for supporting our school with much needing funding and uh, continue to keep them uh, in your prayers as they do this wonderful ministry for the children of our community. Well, let's close out our time uh, with a brief word of prayer. Will you pray with me? Go into the world, sharing yourself and proclaiming God's loving kindness, justice, and peace in words and deeds that bring life and hope. May God bless you as you use your gifts to build up the kingdom. Know that as you serve, God is with you today and every day, forever and always. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. And may the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.